Chat Are it you up. Ready, ready to boom bop or pow? Welcome to the Point Taken Podcast. <laughs> I this just think is about the knock knock joke from the last point week. taken Can you podcast. Give me his water, please. No, I was asking her a question. No, thank you. Nice. It's the only podcast sure. where we make and take spiritual and biblical questions, and we chat them up. up. To my right here is Anna. Last name. She did it. Hey. Uh, and to her right is Pastor Josiah Shepherd. Yes. How's it going? Life's good. It's man. Great. Guys, we're gonna be talking about some stuff today. We're gonna be hanging out. Having a good conversation about something that's so, 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 so important. But before we get into that, I've got a question for you guys, okay? Ready. Little icebreaker. Let's get this conversation rolling. If you could have one superpower. I love these questions. Of all the superpowers, you could pick one. Now, you know, there obviously have to be some ground rules. You can't, you know. So no pick flying? No, no, no. You said ground uh, rules. Okay. <laughs> ground rules. I really want to check that sh- joke because that's my job, but I actually appreciated that one. Up top. Um, you, you, you can't go crazy. Like, you can't be Superman and have all the powers. You just have to have one power. Yeah. yeah. You can't have the power of invulnerability. That's what my comic book said when I was a little kid. I'm like, that's the dumbest super. Pr- I mean, that's not fair. Well, what do you mean? His pa- the invulnerable under- to all things. It said it literally on my book. It said it had like three pages. Like you know, for Hulk, it might have four pages. For like, I was gonna say Aquaman because I'm thinking of Frank Caliendo, but yeah. uh, it might have like a paragraph. But it said one of his superpowers was invulnerability. Well, that's cheating. That's lame. Okay, okay, but let let me say this: yeah. if you have invulnerability but don't have the super strength to match it, then it's worthless. I understand. What then you're, you're only invulnerable to stuff like fire or whatever. But if anything with force behind it, you you're, you're, you're okay. still getting smacked. You okay. Know? Yeah. All right. So this is a good talking question. Some real world. Okay. But not real world. You want to go first? Yes, the problem is my analytical line will need plenty of ground rules. Do you want me to just give my initial answer? You can give your initial answer, and then I will be like the little kid when you're playing guns, and I'll say, I'll change the rules. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're taking guns, oh, I use no, my shield. No, I have special oh, no. armor, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's what can you, you not understand. see it? <laughs> that was me, by the way. I was that kid. You were that kid? <laughs> Whenever you're found in hide-and-seek. I wasn't even playing. So, <laughs> the, the obvious answer for a, a family of four... Mm. Uh, the obvious answer is uh, teleportation. Oh yeah, for for vehicles, sell them all, gas, all that. So it's a pure financial thing. Okay, but are yeah. you, okay. But but that that's a pure financial thing. And yes, I'm like Nightcrawler. I can touch them and they can transport with me. Don't try that stuff with me. Okay, but uh, Nightcrawler also can't no, no, teleport no. very far distances. Yeah, I can. Okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> and if you remember, he can only go he, where he can see. He, no, he no, fixed that. Do you not remember X Men Three? He uh, fixed it. Oh, he did in the, like the movies. She, yeah, she helped him. Uh, she helped him figure it out. Yeah, I guess I guess I don't know about that much. I, well, I there's only 47 X Men movies, so I don't know how you have to figure <laughs> yeah, it out. Yeah, my bad. Uh, uh, just that's okay. I, I was about to say I was going off the comics, which I was, but I don't know if the comics fixed that or changed that. I don't remember, so I don't know. and I don't know actually. Don't even comment it. Don't tell me if I'm right. Okay, so <laughs> that would be my initial like one. Now, as far as what would be. The cool, like reading minds would not be cool to me. That would be. I do not want to I know what people are. Um, I wouldn't last. Especially um, if they're thinking something like I don't have mean the about you, and you're just like, wow, you're yeah. That's what I'm rude. saying. I don't have the strength for but, mind reading. Yeah. I don't but know. If I could combine one, well, I won't. Flight. Mm-hmm. For the if I could fly quickly. Okay. As opposed would to be flying slowly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what superpower or what superheroes like fly if slowly? I, today, today. Because you see Superman. If like, I could fly to the top of a mountain, like today. Yeah. Oh, okay. If I could. Like I'd go really fast. You have oh. super like speed with flying. What I could see, what I could, that would be incredible to me. No, but fun. teleportation would be number Point. one for me. Flying would be number two. And we're just, we're, we're obviously going based off, yeah, if he does flying at high velocities, that doesn't work in real life because you, oh, you would face burn up the, or freeze or yeah, yeah, you yeah. Would, yeah, you would face a lot <laughs> of force coming up against you and your neck and your spine and your <laughs> eyes and all that. We're not yeah, even thinking about that. All the Josiahs in the chat. We're, yeah, we're thinking yeah. in perfect <laughs> reality. Okay, what about you, Anna? Um, super speed. Like, I being able that. to get things done quickly. Like, if man, I could do all of my day's man. work in, like, five minutes and then just be done. <gasps> Big oh, on super speed. Okay. I, I kind of forgot one. Okay. 
super speed, does that include super reading fast? Like you can. I would uh, say speed. Uh, yeah, you, you can, can do retain anything quickly. the information that you. Well, dude, that would be nice. That's different. I, I, I'll tell you this. I will tell you this. What? In in the comics currently, starting I think right after the new Fifty Two for the the nerds, the Flash comics went into the fact if you have super speed, you also have super thought process. Uh, your processing okay. speeds yeah, yeah, yeah. are yeah, I just want that as then. fast. Yeah. In order to okay. keep up with, yeah, I'd I would do that. Hers might be better than mine, but because mm. I'm thinking like I instead of having to like wait until like get stuff done, you just do it, boom, 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 boom. That's pretty boom, cool. Boom, boom, boom. You guys went really practical, and I really, really respect that. Okay, really what, what? However, what is? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there's no <laughs> however. There's no like, however. Mine's not practical. Mine's just Mine, awesome. Correct. Mine is literally just for the enjoyment for me, and y'all know who Beast Boy is, of course. That's. I don't know. The Teen power. Titans, Changeling. Oh yeah, yeah, If yeah. you're mm. an old Doom Patrol yeah. fan, Teen Titans. Yeah. We have the Green the Guy. Yes, yeah. Green guy. Yeah. Okay. But the only people who call him Green Guy is people that don't appreciate the show. Yeah. I didn't like the show growing up. Do you agree? My brother yeah, did, but yeah. I didn't care for it. I was a little girl. Garfield really Logan. Yeah, he. I like Garfield. If yeah. you have a son, you need to name him Garfield. No. Can you do that, please? You have a son. Then, you could have named him Garfield. No, My and son then you Garfield no, because will you love always Mondays. say, "Love me, feed me, never leave me." I do. Oh yes, I say that all the time. Yeah. Love so me, fun. sorry, me. but I, I, I would, I would be, I could change into any animal, because the experience of being. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for catching. <laughs> Are you thinking back? <laughs> Are you thinking back to two weeks ago the episode? <laughs> All right, this is a callback to a previous episode <laughs> where they gather themselves. We did a episode <laughs> on furries, and this is Hunter <laughs> explaining his inner darkest thoughts, and he's using Teen Titans to do it. <laughs> what's, what's, what's You're going to hold the phone and show me a picture of Hunter. <laughs> What's funny is I didn't even plan that because this actually is what I want to be. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> looking at But right before I started yeah, like to say I it, s- I thought like of it. When I and said I take, <laughs> it's like when I said, I'll go to a Grizzlies game with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. my gosh. Yeah, I just lo- locked eyes soon with her. As soon as I locked eyes with Anna, I said, oh, crap, she knows where I'm she, going. She, <laughs> she. <laughs> no, okay. But just think about it, man. You can fly if you're if you can change into any animal. You can fly. Now, the speed problem Sure. I mean, hawks can fly pretty quick. Right. They can fly pretty quick. You can be uh, multiple different sizes, so I can change my size. I can breathe underwater and swim real fast. I can go be really, really quick on land, right? I can literally get anything I wanted to done as these different animals, and I could experience it. And part of it was how awesome would it be to lounge around as an animal, as opposed to you know how comfy those things get. Now, what you things? know what I'm saying? What? What's, what the animals? Get comfy? Like if I if I were to like turn into like a cat and lay out in the sun, dude. Just are you kidding me? Just be able Come to on. Apple All right, now I, mean, I think that's it's very really easy. I think, I think it's, it's so easy to judge. I feel like it's really easy to sit in your position <laughs> and make the weird face <laughs> instead of opening your mind to the possibilities of what could be no, in this no, fantasy this world to me, to me. where you no. could literally... All of those examples. I could the be last a panther, one. dude. Hunter just wants to be pet like a little kitty cat and have its belly rubbed. No, I just wanted to experience mm-hmm. things from a different perspective. So, so That's I want to bring my little box to school. <laughs> your example of a super... Have your own bathroom. <laughs> Your example of a superpower yeah. was to turn to a cat so you can bathe in the sun. No, Is I that said that's that's an that's an that extra thing. That's an extra thing. But I'm just saying, like, get there's things different. Done as an animal, he says. Yeah, you can get things done. You can fight, dude. You can do anything. But I can fly. I can swim. I can run. I can okay. climb. All right, I let me all let me of that. let me okay. try to be understanding. All different. Let me try sizes. to be understanding. I just threw that you in there be a, because, a like, shark. I thought. You're scuba diving. I get it. I if get it. If you're a shark, would you attack a swimmer? 100%. You would have to. Or you would starve to death. Yeah. You never no, watched. Like, oh, I swimmer. Yeah, 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 not a yeah, seal. A person. A no, I would. I would take one limb and then let I'd them live so that they can tell their what? story. I, what is? Okay. Uh, Remember <laughs> that surfing movie, the Christian surfing movie? Oh, uh, I would I make yeah. so many of those as a shark. Bethany I'd be like, Hamilton. Arr. They made that movie. So movie-able. I'd be like, Arr. and then I'd go away, <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh my god, I just survived this. I think it's a very interesting um, <laughs> point of but view. I can tell Hunter's been thinking about this so for a long many questions. time. Well, you know, your brother is upset with me because his favorite power would be the Green Lantern ring. But what and is gr- well, okay? What is yeah? But if you're like me and you power? lose stuff, if you lose the ring, it's over. Well, you can create anything you want, like 
with your mind. But with Martian the rain, can, oh, okay. can fly. Martian you can go can underwater. Yeah, Martian yeah, yeah. manhunter can overcome that though. For sure, it happens. For sure. I, 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 now let me just say this: I might have said that that one and the Beast Boy power were two of my top contenders, just in usefulness from day to day. And he said Green Lantern was way better, and he's made fun of me ever since. But I liked the experience of being able to do everything as like the animal. You'd feel your muscles would be different. Like if you, you needed to how, run really fast, you'd turn into a cheetah. Yeah, and, and you wouldn't you, just okay. be able to fly. You'd be able to like feel what it's like to have those different muscle groups and to like be that. I thought that was cool. All right. <laughs> so easy to hate, dude. Not it's, hate. Not it's hate. so easy to judge, it's, but it's so it's hard different. to open your mind it's different. No, to what not things hate. can be Not like. hate. What is it? It's yeah. um, interesting. There it is. <laughs> Have you thought through Judgment. all the other possibilities? That That's what it is. I've thought through all the other ones, but I thought this one is just so it's not cool. It's so not like cool. <laughs> um, it's so cool. All right, buddy. <laughs> don't ever do that to me. Don't, don't ever do that to me on our podcast me. when don't we're friends. I'm so don't sorry. Don't you I can't believe I buddy. just said that. Yeah. I'm so sorry I just did that. Yes. Mm. I apologize sincerely. Before this c- topic came up, there was respect. You know what? Us. Okay, let me try to <laughs> let me try to help you here. Can yeah. you hmm. Okay, so you would still have your mind no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Would you, you like then have the diet of whatever the animal was? Well, you, I could just change back into a human whenever I wanted to. Yeah, he's like Beast Boy. No, uh, I mean I wouldn't Beast have to Boy eat. Beast Boy didn't eat the like. Stuff Beast Boy like that. wanted to eat tofu because he just like really bad tasting food. No, yeah, I guess. No, I, he just, the, just didn't want to eat one draw you have, The one draw one. you have is you would have the ability to have incredible senses yeah mm-hmm. uh swimming flying running everything jumping. you could be a so dolphin and have like sonar Literally. so so there is there is there is some draw there, there i some, think it's there's some cool. draw there it's cooler awesome now spy. than it was practicality yeah. is not one i could literally though. be a fly on the wall <laughs> 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 oh man that would be so useful that's all I'm that would just do. allow me to be super nosy and i don't need to be nosy but I'd have the option. So it would be yeah. I could, it would be a with, fulfillment with of that one power. <laughs> yes. With that one power, for sure, I could do anything basically that anybody else wants to in do. in like, a half square mile radius because a fly can't go much further than that. But yeah, but it goes. <laughs> or I could be like a bird and get to my destination. Boom, fly. Yeah, but Easy. most time, if a bird comes in a room, most people will notice. Yeah, because they're like, oh my okay. gosh, there's a bird. Bird, we'll person, open all the doors. Fly. Doesn't matter. I could do anything, but I'm just saying. Hunter can be anything he wants. I could be anything I want to be. If you turned to him, B, and your stinger got cut off, would you die, or could you turn back real quick? That's an awesome question. I really liked that question. Because what did they die when they Mm -hmm. sting? Yeah, Um, some of them. So I probably just wouldn't do that. No, but what, what if you were being attacked? <laughs> what then I would turn into let's like a hornet, or I would turn into a, killer a flipping if rhino. If you die as the animal, do you? Are you dead? Well, yeah. So if you're a fly and you get like windshield, like, farm <laughs> <laughs> I guess I wouldn't want to turn into a farm, fly on the interstate. Farm, then I guess no, I don't not know. interstate. Farm road, s- June through for those not from Memphis. Yeah, just by Shelby Farms, June through August sunset. Uh, when you make the curve to go on Walnut Grove, uh, why would I be a fly in okay. the road? When I could be literally. Why would you else? avoid the question? The question was, <laughs> if you die as an animal, no, I said, are yeah. you dead as a person? Yeah, you, okay. yeah, it'd have to be. Okay, that's a problem. I know which you, curve you're talking about. You could still die curve. as a teleporter. You could teleport and something could be where you think you're trying to teleport and then you just all of a sudden, oh, now my mass has changed in, inside of another object and I'm split. What's more likely, that or die. if you're a fly on the wall, you get swatted? No, I killed thirteen flies. No, the at teleportation the last is definitely I'm gonna say a that bigger again. risk. Because I do want people to be proud of me. I killed thirteen what? flies at the church last Monday. Instead of making lessons for the people flies? at this building, he went around swatting flies Why and thinking, you flies? "How can I belittle Hunter you <laughs> in our next podcast?" <laughs> you want me to turn that into an analogy, spirit, so I can figure it out? <laughs> 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 Look at a split. <laughs> Man, this is taking a turn for the worse. Yeah. Okay. I just well, want to know that. why there were 13 even, flies. Even, even, uh, even uh, Nick. I almost just called him Evan. Even Nick was complaining about it. Wow. What would your What would your power be, Nick? I well, until we it. get your microphone, I'm asking There's you. really a whole lot of hate for somebody Lowell? who hasn't thought about it. I, I agree. 
flying. When you say enjoyment. just real quick, haven't thought about. It. We've been doing this for forty five minutes. Like what? You, what li- this episode's already forty five minutes long. <laughs> what? <laughs> so okay. All right. So Nick didn't answer. No, Nick didn't answer. He just mm-hmm. wanted to hate. Instead. Next week. Let's you go think ahead. About it. Let's go ahead and get into our topic. All right. <laughs> let's go. All right, guys. Something, <laughs> something we uh, as a society struggle with a whole lot. All right. As a society, this is very prominent and it's very dangerous um, and it affects way more than what you would think. <clears throat> Obviously, let's go ahead and throw our disclaimer in there. If you are a child, maybe don't watch this episode. Uh, if you have children around, here's your warning. Okay? I'm going to give you a couple seconds. And if you haven't like seen by the title, most likely... Yeah, there we go. Don't watch it, not for your little ears. Sometimes autoplay plays the next one. You don't even look at the title. Mm, I don't have autoplay set. Pornography. <laughs> She's going to be talking about pornography today. What? You noticed she laughed? Uh, yeah, I couldn't figure out why. Immature. <laughs> Immature. <laughs> 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 She's a child? Pretty much. Uh, Remember her comment about uh, guys never grow up? Yeah. yeah. She made fun of me for being a child earlier. She yeah. laughed. Pornography, guys. Here's here's the big thing that is very worrisome to me. Accessibility to pornography, especially I don't know about around the world, honestly, but especially in this country, is insane. Mm-hmm. Is insane. We have kids pre puberty that have seen things that they never, ever should have seen, just because they have a phone. Right. Mm-hmm. Or they have somebody else's phone. And it's just like there's no – there is no wall there other than the parents themselves to stop these kids from seeing these things. Uh, Anna, you said you had some things mm-hmm. to say about um, – Well, I was watching a podcast like I was telling you guys earlier. It was earlier on in the week, and it was um, a podcast by Ali Beth Stuckey. And she had a guy on there who was talking about how pornography, like, actually affects the brain. And there was a study done, and this was in Germany. I'm not sure how long ago it was, um, but it's on live science. You can, you know, Google it. And it talks about how these two researchers from Germany placed 64 men in an MRI machine and exposed them to explicit images versus neutral images. And this is like, this will what was crazy to me it says on average outside of the lab the men watched about four hours of pornography a week with some respondents watching nearly 20 hours a week with some not at all Um, and so it said the avid porn watcher showed lower activation of reward circuitry in the brain um, and that's just as suggested by lower blood flow to certain areas of the brain um, in response to those images and so you have these kids who are being introduced to Um, this explicit material at such a young age that they start viewing it and then start, you know, trying things out or whatever. So by the time that they get in some type of committed relationship, the smaller acts aren't, don't have as much weight, as much reward to them. And so that's when they start getting into like the deeper, deeper stuff. Um, But also with the kids being exposed to it, I don't know for y'all, but I was exposed to it at like 10 to 12. And it was actually, I was spent the night over at a friend's house, and um, we stayed up late, like, watching TV in her uh, game room. And she knew this is when direct TV, you know, was a thing. <laughs> and, um, like, you could have the parental controls and mm. whatever. And so she actually knew the passcode to her mom's, you know, parental control. And so she did it. And then she pulled it up. And, like, I can still vividly see that image. I saw it once. Right. And I could vividly see that image. <coughs> and um, then after that, like that piqued my curiosity and then I started going online. I was actually telling <laughs> telling my husband this the other day. I'm like how stupid and it just shows like how how like childish I was. Um <laughs> I googled or I just put in like the search bar porn.com. <laughs> <laughs> and Donovan was like that is such a kid <laughs> thing to like search for. But I said no, I mean and it did. It really spiked that curiosity and it's because I was exposed to that at such a young age then I wanted to know more. And then I ended up getting involved in, like, some other stuff later down the road. And it was just, like, I was 10 to 12. Right. And it just shows how, well, and, you know, this was back, well, how old am I? You know, like, almost, you know, however long ago, like, 15 years ago. 
plus and now these kids have cell phones that they carry around in their pockets they don't need no code for pay-per-view no like tiktok you can see stuff on tiktok okay like youtube you can look up uh one of uh oh crap what's her name Nicki minaj's videos and that's like softcore porn and i'm just like and these kids are just able to look at it they play that at the bowling alley no, they did not play that song at the bowling alley. Oh boy, oh boy, yes they do. We had we and, and our camera guy can attest. We we would go bowling like every was it Sunday? Yeah, mm-hmm. on Sunday nights we got this group. We just get really into random hobbies and like go really That's hard fun. at it. Yeah, and so we got into bowling for a minute. And so they had this like deal on Sunday nights. So they ended up getting to know us and stuff. And we'd go. They'd cut off all the lights. They'd put the projectors up, and it would just be all these videos of these rap songs and hip hop artists. And I was just like, where there's no music. It's just, but it's, it's just like, it's soft. I, I was like, I'm you're trying to bowl. And then it's like, you have to look past a bunch of butts <laughs> to see the strike that I just made. It's like, how can you <laughs> focus always on a the strike? strike? How can you Every focus time on I the strike? strike? Yeah. I was just like, easy but that's my point is it's so accessible to these kids now even more than it was for us well because like back in our day and before you know i say like our day like we're super old like the the dads or the uncles had you know the playboys and that's how you would find it and then you were really protected by that but we grew up in the age of like always having the computer we grew up in the computer era and so we always had that access online my mom and i were actually talking about this at lunch today and she had said like when you know computers and stuff came out my brother was on the computer and she just typed in like baseball and it would pop up pornographic images she's like oh my gosh and this was in the 90s and she's like what the heck is going on (laughs) and she's like okay he's not using that he's only playing these pre-approved computer games but it's like and these parents and you know like different strokes for different folks whatever but these kids have tiktok accounts and they are children. Do oh you see God. something? We, you saw the TikTok that I sent in the group message that was, you know, for you about the furries. Did you ever watch it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. That stuff is on TikTok for these kids to see. And it's I, not being. I like, had a big, big, big problem with TikTok for the longest time until they fixed this. Uh, and I don't even know if it's all the way fixed. But probably not. when TikTok first became a thing. I very heavily boycotted it because, you? you know, I would you would still see TikTok even if you didn't have it because every other social media platform, they were just regurgitating what was on that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, why is it that every single TikTok I see is some underage girl doing something very inappropriate? Mm-hmm. It's like, why is this 14 year old girl doing that? Where's her dad? Where's her mom? Where's that girl's there? Where? Uh, not like, there. They don't know. That I was they just like, what? What is this? I was like, why are we as a country supporting these children sexualizing themselves? It like disgust. It pissed me off. Mm-hmm. I was like, why would you have TikTok? Like, like what? What's what's the point? Is it just to watch little girls dance? Like what? What? And Probably. until they, you know, it seems that at least that that has been changed to a, a degree. Mm-hmm. But I was like. Man, and, and that, that kind of goes into, it's not just the blatant pornography like that you would see if you went to porn.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything. As a child. Everything mm. is so sexualized. And I just think back, like, because, you know, sex sells. Yeah. And so Absolutely. everything you see here and everything that is allowed on TV now and stuff is so much worse and different and, like, desensitizes people. It's normalized. Yes. And yeah. I think one of the biggest problems, like, okay, up to this point, we've only talked about kids. Right. Watching kids, kids, kids. Because it's become so normalized, it starts with the parents. Yes. It starts with the adults. Um, pornography is something that at one point most men struggled with, and it's still. Men are still far worse at it than women, but it's much more common for women now than it would have been 20 years ago because yeah. it's been normalized. Mm-hmm. You know, I was talking with somebody not that long ago, and he was just like, Josiah, I was just taught that sex is how adults play. Right. Kids play with to- toys, mm-hmm. just adults play with sex. Anytime, what would have been, when, whenever you're dealing with a society moving away from God, it can happen so fast that would have been would have been unthought of 
20 years ago is normal now. Yeah. But today, what would have been unthought of two years ago can become normalized in two years. That's, that's, Isn't that that's, crazy? That's all yeah. it takes. Anytime we reject God's design for something, there is no stopgap. Yes. There is no limit to where it will go. There's none. Zero. There's no stop. When people say, so, so hold on. So when we as a society say that sex is whatever makes us feel good. Right. Okay. Whatever makes us feel good. You have to accept that for everybody. If it's about what makes humans feel good, then it's about what makes humans feel good. So if you reject God's design for it, whatever makes anyone feel good. Mm-hmm. And there's no consistent stop to any of that. God's design for sex. and The other side is equally true, though. There's still, it's not as common as before, but there's still some... Christian homes, or at least religious homes, that won't use the S word sex. Right. They won't speak about it. They won't talk about it. It's almost a curse word. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah. It's dirty. It's okay. It's dirty. It's, I don't even like using that phrase when mm-hmm. referring to sex. No, it's not. It's not. Sex yeah, is right. a God created thing mm-hmm. in the bounds that He created it. Mm-hmm. Right. In the bounds He created it. Mm-hmm. One man, one woman in mm-hmm. union with God. Yeah. Marriage. He designed it for that purpose. We are not allowed to call what God created bad Mm -hmm. or dirty. But any other variation of that is a deviation from its original design. Mm -hmm. And if you accept any deviation, you have to accept any deviation. So it starts with us being pure in heart and mind. It starts with us... Uh, rejecting that. It starts with us not looking at that. It starts with us not searching after that. Uh, Not seeing sex as something to fulfill my needs, but something that has a design and a purpose behind it. Mm -hmm. So it's easy for us to look in shock at what the world does with sex and marriage but we shouldn't be that shocked when we treat sex and marriage with such contempt for so long. Yeah. We can divorce whenever we want. Yeah. <laughs> we can divorce whenever we want. We can watch whenever we want. That's a private sin. When we treat it like that, we should not be shocked at how our children treat it. Man. We as a <coughs> culture and a society have just been groomed, man. I, I mean, yeah. there are – okay, think about this for a minute. This is a post-Christian nation. Some people would call it a Christian nation. Not It's a post-Christian yeah. nation. Correct. We are still blessed with some of the residual effects of being a Christian nation. Mm-hmm. There are countries on this planet, Islamic countries, where all pornography is banned and outlawed. <laughs> Could you now, imagine? while I don't believe government should legislate morality, that's, that's another point. Because they see the danger and the mm-hmm. yep. what that does. Mm-hmm. The United States is the number one importer of pornography on the planet. Isn't that yep. disgusting? On the planet. Yeah. The United States is not even close to the number one population country on the planet. That's disgusting. You follow me on that? Mm-hmm. Um, when we trivialize things that God designed and make it fit our wants, our needs, our desires, my, me, 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 there's no stopgap to what happens when God removes his hand of blessing on that. We have to treat it not as something icky and dirty because we're too afraid to talk to our children about it. You can't do that, but you also, it's not about you. Mm-hmm. If, if we had to have one phrase to for the church to cry out and not teach to the world, but teach themselves first and then to the world, is, would be the phrase, it's not about you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, that would probably be the phrase. Yeah, it's just it's all it's all selfish. But um, like doing some research on this topic and reading scripture, um, I'll read this one verse that I found. It just shows me that God loves His children and He has these commands in place to protect us. Um, so this is this is First Corinthians 
sorry, 1 Corinthians 6, chapter 6, um, verse 18. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside of the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. Do you not know your bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, right. whom you have received to God? You're not your own. You're bought at a price. Um, and so it's like God sees that within marriage um, between, you know, a man and a woman, like through, um, you know, like a covenant between the two of them or the three of them. Um, it's safe and that is blessed by God. But when it is outside of those parameters, like you were saying, and it has no stopgap, like it's just... It can just, it can do whatever, but God was protecting us, so he put That's those exactly parameters right. in That's place. exactly right. Brother Jeremiah last week in a sermon said, there's actually no such thing as falling into a sin. Yeah. Yep. Because it's not a free fall, it's a slow slide. Yeah. You choose to do that. Jesus showed us that by showing it's always a matter of the heart first. Because mm-hmm. what did Jesus say? Yes, the law says you shall not commit adultery. But if you've lusted if you've a lusted, woman, you've committed sin in your heart. Right. And, of course, Adultery I've done that. Yeah. When you've lusted in your heart. Now, why would Jesus put it that way? Because that was always the intention of God's mm-hmm. law because it's always a heart matter you have to check first. Right. What's the solution to that? Well, Jesus tells us, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mm-hmm. So treasure up things in heaven, not on things on earth. Because yeah. whatever you're pouring into your heart will come out. Isn't that crazy? Uh, so to show how important this is and how drastic that is, um, in and I wish I think it's First Thessalonians. Paul is giving a list of um, attributes that show your sanctification, mm-hmm. and this is what he says: For this is the will of God. If you ever heard someone say, "I wish I knew what God's will in my life was," listen now. This is the will of God: your sanctification. So God's will for your life is that you're sanctified to be made more holy more and more conform to him. That's God's goal for Hunter's life, for Anna's life, for my life. And we should fulfill that goal, but every day, what's it say? We offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. You know why? How many times can you sacrifice a goat? Once. Once. Mm -hmm. But we live when we sacrifice ourselves to God, so every day we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. All right, well, how do we do that? This is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a whole list after that, Mm -hmm. but the first thing, that you abstain from sexual immorality. Mm-hmm. Ironically, the Greek word for sexual immorality is porneia. porneia. Now that covers about seven or eight different sins, which we've talked about some of them yeah. before. Right. Of which I would put money on that everyone in this room, myself included, and everyone that will listen to this is guilty of one of those variations of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The will of God for our life is our sanctification. The first thing he lists is not reading your Bible and doing a devotional, which, of course, is not what I'm saying is not important. The first thing he says is that you abstain from sexual morality. Mm-hmm. Why? Because that is one of the easiest ways. It's one of the easiest ways to get your heart and your mind associated on something else. Mm-hmm. Hunter, don't let me hijack this too no, much, but I'll, 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 I'll prove it like this. For those of you who are still caught in the mindset, by the way, I don't believe you actually believe this, but who pretend to say sex is just physical, it doesn't have any yeah. other, uh, doesn't have any other effects besides that. Well, there, I know a lot of people. Um, pornography does have an effect on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it absolutely does. Um, but forget that for a minute. I'll, I'll prove to you that sex is not just physical. Everyone who's listening to this would agree that physical assault should be tried by law. But I'd be willing to bet that everyone listening to this believes sexual assault should be a harsher crime than regular physical assault. Mm -hmm. Well, why? If sex is just physical, he injured your body, he injured your body. Why are they not equal? It's because we all know sex is more than just physical. That There's an an emotional Mm -hmm. and intimate part of that that has been taken. Mm -hmm. And we all know that sex is not just physical. It's far more than that. God had a design for that. And when we trivialize that, did I say that word right? Trivialize. Thank you. Uh, We shouldn't be shocked at the results. Mm -hmm. So I would just encourage all Christians out there, this is an area that we have got to do better at. Mm -hmm. We've got, we look far too much like the world in this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Far too much. And it's marriage and divorce. It's, it's divorce. It's pornography. It's, 
I have a new girlfriend, a new boyfriend every other month. It's uh, missionary dating. It's far more. It, it's a mockery. Yeah. It's a mockery. This is an area we look far too much like the world. The way we dress. Mm-hmm. The way I, we have got to do a much better job about that. And this is a constant drumbeat of sanctification. No matter where you're looking at in the Bible, this is a constant drumbeat of how you show a changed life and a continued process of a changed life. And I would just encourage the modern day Christian to take a look at your culture and what is around you. And I want you to see the blatant evil in everyday things, man. It's almost, it's, it's hard for me not to see strategy in what I see out there, man. Cause, uh, you know, you'll look out and, on billboards, on magazines, on TV commercials, on everything. Everybody's half naked all the time. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, man, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about that. This is going to sound silly, but I'm being totally serious. I was playing a game on my phone. Yeah. A game. And the ad that kept coming up every time I tried to go to the next level or whatever yeah. was atrocious. Yeah. I, I had to, I deleted the game. After, like, three or four weeks of this, which it shouldn't even take that long, I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, if this is going to keep showing up here while well, I'm trying to play Scrabble or whatever it was, yeah. you know, it's some stupid game or whatever, then I'm not going to play the game. Uh, it's that. Well, I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about an ad yep. for a game on my phone. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's everywhere. I, I, like, I, I want to encourage the men listening to this. Do you remember when that was different? And when... when you weren't so you had to go looking for it. Well, no, even then. Oh, oh. I'm just saying, like, I want you to be self uh, aware, aware, but like introspective. Mm-hmm. You, you get what I'm saying. Remember when you saw something like that and it was a big deal, mm. and now it's something you see every day, and it's whatever. It's like, ugh. Well, and that's the point that they were making in that study that I was right. talking about. These guys who viewed up to 20 hours a week, which is, like, crazy to me. I couldn't. Like, what do you do? so much time. Like, I don't know. Anyway, (laughs) so I'm just like, well, shut up. (laughs) I'm just saying, like, how can you watch? Like, what? uh, You obviously do nothing else after you get home from work. You know what I mean? Um, But that's what they were saying is that those who were avid porn watchers had, like, lower responses to that. Because when you are sexually aroused like that, you secrete dopamine. Right. Which, you know, gets all your hormones going and all of that stuff. And the more you're exposed to that, the less dopamine is produced. And then you have to have, like, more and more. It's kind of like a drug, you know, like it, you eventually stop feeling the it's effects exactly of it. And then you like have to drug. increase it. Right. And so it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's crazy to me. But like you said, you get desensitized to it. It's like even stuff with me. I mean, granted, like, you know, I was never a teenage boy, so I, you know, I can't relate to you guys. Unless I identify as that, and I can just make <laughs> up something like that. Um, sorry. Anyway, but, like, I didn't have that perspective. But I remember um, even when we went on, like, this last youth trip. Like, if I go to the beach with my husband, like, I'm just going to wear, like, a one-piece bathing suit. And, like, I might wear shorts over it or whatever. But it's, like, I'm usually modest. And so I wore, like, that same thing. But because we were with, like, teenage boys on the youth trip, I wore a T-shirt over it. Yeah. Like, with shorts and stuff. Because I know that for teenage boys... You know, if you see something like that, it can really get you going. But like you said, you just become desensitized to that now that you're like in your mid to late twenties. You're still in your late twenties for like a couple for two more weeks. weeks. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually weeks. exactly mid twenties. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I just. Well, I just, I, just I'm, I, 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 I look back and I mourn it because, yeah, to an extent, as you grow older, as a guy or a girl, whatever, as you grow older, certain things do just become less and less uh naturally but even i just (laughs) this is a funny story i actually remember because i felt so guilty after it happened i didn't do anything wrong remember there was a show uh there's a show on tv called dallas cowboy cheerleaders oh i actually love that show yeah when i I was a kid i thought that was the dumbest idea for a show because I because I was a kid and I <laughs> yeah, said I this said is stupid. they yeah, made a girl stupid. show about football stuff. <laughs> I was like about girls trying out for a because I didn't understand that it could team. be a guy show, you know, for that because I was just thinking like this is stupid, man. Right. Why would anybody ever watch this? Uh, every time I saw it on the guide, because right, you'd have the oh, the yeah, guide and it yeah. would, you wouldn't see the show on the top corner. You would just see the you know title. what it yeah. was. 
And so there was a thing on there where you could flip the channels. Like, and so you could see everything on the mm-hmm. channels. And one time it was that. And it was the opening. And it was the opening. And, and they, they their tied legs. their little bra strap or whatever. Oh, yeah. And I remember seeing that. I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, was, I felt so guilty because I was like, why, why wasn't I thinking about what I was doing? Because, you know, I was saying, and I'll just remember, you know, as a little kid, just that was so shocking and so jarring, you know, because it was just so blatant, it, you know, because they were obviously trying to be that way. Being sexual. Right. Yeah. And I was just like, what? What am I? You want to know a fun but fact? You know now, nowadays, it's you, like, you want to yeah, know a fun fact really quick? Nowadays, I've seen Game of Thrones and I think, oh, my God. Yeah, I've never right. liked watching yeah. that. That's why I think it's so important. Same way. When the Bible says be innocent as far as doing evil, mm-hmm. yeah. be as infants. Um, that's why whenever, I, if there's ever a, a whiff of that, I'm fast forwarding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not because I'm married to my wife. She's watching it with me. Not because. You don't want to see that. When someone says, I can't handle that. No, it's because I want to be innocent of evil. Correct. Mm-hmm. And it starts with my heart and my mind long before Correct. it ever starts. Uh, that's where it starts. That's what my dad would always say. He'd say, we don't let the devil get a foothold. And before, when I was a kid, I didn't understand. I said, foothold. Because I thought, foothold. <laughs> I was like, foothold? the heck oh. is he talking about? Like, all right, I get it. You don't want the devil to be involved in your life. But as I grew up, I was like, oh, a foothold. You know what I'm saying? And so he's just like, because it only takes just a little bit. It does. And now back to that, you know, Dallas Cowboys thing. I think that was so jarring to me that I remember as a 25-year-old man now, looking back at me as a kid, the feeling I had of, oh, no, oh, what's going on? To now that is just commonplace. That is the most appropriate advertising I see today. You want to know a fun fact? What? I actually watched that show on my maternity leave. That's so awesome. It was awesome. pretty good. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, granted, I watched it. And then, like, so I would have it on, and Donovan would come home from working all day. And then I would, like, I, I felt weird watching it when he, like, because with me, I'm just, like, it's it's all about the dancing and, you know, like, all that stuff and seeing who gets cut. But, like, when my husband's there, I'm, like, I feel a little weird about this. Like, I don't want him to be I just there and have that there. how many men just remember that feeling because mm-hmm. it's been so long since they've had any type of innocence. <laughs> so, speaking of that... A couple of Christmases ago, I was on um, Pinterest, and I'd clicked on something. And you know, like, how on certain apps, like, you can click on a picture, and it's, like, a search by, and it lets you search by the picture. Apparently, I hit that button on, Uh like, whatever picture I was looking at. I don't even remember. And it pulled up an image of this man who had um, one of his appendages out. And I remember, like, freaking out. I was like... Oh my gosh! And Donovan's like, "What?" I'm like, "Just, just get it off, get it off." I don't, I don't. I was like, "I don't know why, why it popped up like this." I don't know. Please, please, just get it off. And he's like, "What were you looking?" I was like, "I wasn't looking at anything." <laughs> I said, "Do you think if I was Donovan looking said, at something?" Oh, Pinterest. Yeah. Huh? I was like, "Do you think if I was looking at something, Always I would be rushing home like to get this? on Pinterest?" Yeah. I'm like, do you think though, if I was actually like Gets looking at that, Facebook I would group. tell you, "Please get this off, please get this off." I said, "No, I would have hit Husbands, that from you." Husbands, if your wives have Pinterest, that, but that's <laughs> this the thing. is what they're doing. But that's my point. I didn't even know that stuff existed on Pinterest before that happened i'm just like what the heck yeah. i'm like it is it is everywhere spotify do you remember like some months ago where these mm-hmm. kids this kid accidentally like entered i don't remember like it was like a period and like a couple of other symbols well they entered in like a period and a couple of other symbols and it pulled up pornography on spotify and these parents were livid uh, do you did you do you yeah, remember I, hearing about that i have a couple i'm not going to say on here because i don't want to give for when i was a school right. teacher there was there were several apps like that yeah it just like blows my mind yeah, i'm uh, just like i never would have thought that that would have been on there. i think as christian men we should pray that god give us the feeling hunters talking about again for those small things i know yeah. exactly well, even like you said with the christian women there are women who struggle oh with that. absolutely oh, for sure. yeah for absolutely sure. I, yes many i know yeah. many um mm-hmm. i do well. too um i think we would do ourselves far better and the kingdom of god better to take jesus's advice and yes, there was sarcasm advised in there. Yeah. Uh, we do better protect Jesus. Yeah, Christ. sure. If your right hand offends you, cuts it off. Because mm-hmm. I'd rather you enter heaven lame than have going to hell with both feet, both you know that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we would do far better to distance ourselves from certain things that uh, we could avoid. For example, um, if you notice that you are putting 30 hours a week, I'm making up a time, mm-hmm. into uh, 
Netflix and, and whatever, and that what you're choosing to watch on Netflix has plenty of right. godless material that you choose to partake in. And then you spend zero minutes a week praying with your children, mm. uh, wives praying with your husband, opening the Bible at the dinner table. Um, why would you ever be surprised it's like the that what's insanity. always in your heart and mind don't is know. that which is evil? Mm-hmm. Man. And we don't need to think that we are so strong that we can constantly dump garbage into our heart Mm. and gold come out. Because Jesus says, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Uh, That's for all of us, though. Um, And and look, (coughs) in whatever realm that is, in in whatever doesn't really matter the route that is, we should seek to be innocent in things, innocent of evil. So, for example... We're watching the the Super Bowl at church this year, which I think is awesome. That's a great community thing. Mm-hmm. We'll be turning off the halftime show this year. We did that as a youth Yeah, group. because uh, last year, two years ago, whatever it was, we didn't. And then I look up at the screen. I'm like, are you kidding me? And right. I don't want my first thought to be because the kids are in here. I want right. to be because, because it's all in God's we're So in here. I yeah. called up to the sound booth and said, cut that off. Mm-hmm. Like, wh- what is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if we all had that mindset more. And notice I'm not talking about separating yourself from the world. The Bible says be in the world, not, not of the, the world. world. I'm talking about living in a holy way where others can see the light that you're shining is different. Right. Man. Well, it talks about, you know, the fruit that you bear. And if people, um, you know, see that you're not, it's like you're, what are you doing? Do you want me to make myself look like an idiot for a minute? Would that help you, make you feel good? That'd make yeah. me feel so good. Sure. Do you know how long when I heard that or love bears all things? All right. You already know where this is going. No, you don't. Okay. I'll just have to say it. My grandmother had a little picture frame. It said, 1 Corinthians 13, love bears all things. And it was bears. (laughs) So I, for, we came up from Nashville, came down from Nashville for years. Love bears all things. And I read it as love bears, comma, all things. So (laughs) you love bears. And all things. Love love bears, all things. Um, I was like, why is there not a comma there? I was oh, no. in high school. Oh, <laughs> before yeah. I, before I realized, love bears all, all things. Uh, now that picture frame, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> y- it was a pun, and it outpunned me for years. Wow. That may be why I am the way I am today. Years. Yeah. It's okay. You were today years old when you figured that out. Mm-hmm. Going yeah. back, though, um, on the scripture, um, you know, talking about, like, I forgot how many times it mentions sexual immorality, especially Lots. in the in the New Testament Lots. specifically. But it, you know, we always talk about like scripture is not a rule book of what you can't do. It's God saying, "Don't do this, but do this that's instead." Right. He's right. giving us an out for our sin. And to me, that's just such a it's just so much grace and mercy that's that right. he gives you gives to us. That's what it Cuz he knows me, it will protect us. I believe it was 1 John uh, chapter 5, if there's a chapter 5 in First John. There is. Yeah, uh, First John chapter 5, when it, is, you know, when it speaks about, you know, my statutes, or his statutes are not a burden. You know what I'm saying? Because that's an easy trap for even Christians to believe, is that following God, the rule book, is the burden and is difficult. But the reality of this life and this world is that you are a slave period to whom you are a slave Mm. is the real question Mm -hmm. you are either a slave to yourself and your desires your wants your feelings your emotions your needs your nature or you are freed from that your natural state of being what you read in ephesians 2 is the to serve uh the ruler of the atmospheric domain and you're freed from that into servitude of Christ. A willing servitude a of, willing servitude a willing of Christ. A willing slave of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Which is not a burden. It is a freedom. One yeah. of the greatest lies Satan could ever tell is that if you obey God, you will be unhappy in your sin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what's amazing is, as we wrap up here, what's amazing is the more you obey, and I can testify to this, <laughs> I can testify to this, in the area of sexual morality and pornography and in many areas, the more you obey God, 
the more you love what you used to hate and hate what you used to love. Yep. Yeah. Hate. Yeah. If you ever were taught the Bible says don't hate, that's a lie. The Bible yeah. tells you to hate. hate. It just tells you the things you're supposed to hate. Mm-hmm. Hate. Right. Um, hate, hate, hate. Double You hate. pray that God lets you. <laughs> <laughs> you pray God gives Those you the power to hate. hate that. Yeah. So the lie of you'll be unhappy if you obey God is so untrue. You right. For the joy that lay before him, he sold all he had and bought that field with the treasure buried in it. Mm-hmm. It's never easy to go against your nature. It's never easy but to do what you don't want to well, do. Like but Paul the more says. you do it, yeah. Yeah. the more you love right. that and hate the sin that remains. Yeah. And you'll be happy in that. Mm-hmm. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and close out this podcast for today. Uh, if you struggle with this pornography, uh, please feel free to reach out us to us. We've all been there, man. Listen yeah. point taken at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Strike up a dialogue. Uh, let's talk about it. And if you don't have that accountability, you don't have that support, uh, please just let us know and reach out. That's right. And get yourself a little bit of help. And local pastors and churches, please don't be afraid to talk about issues that your people are dealing with. Yes. Like pornography. In yes. real time yes. from yeah. the pulpit. It yes. is not a sin to mention sin. Yeah. Look at that. No. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> truth. Now, if we uh, didn't cover things that you wanted us to cover, if we covered things you didn't want us to cover, anything about covers, <laughs> drop a comment on this video. Uh, if you have any topics, anything you want us to talk about, if you have any videos or TikToks that you, you want us to uh, react to, yeah. please send them to our email at yes. listenpointtaken at gmail.com. Drop a comment in the video. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram, listenpoint. Uh, Chris Point Taken Christian Podcast. Uh, you can always DM us there as well. Uh, but until next time, guys. Deuces. deuces. Yeah, I used That's to try to paint music. my nails black, and my dad was like, "You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to be an emu." And my like, dad, it's emo. <laughs> you know what? It's emo, Bird. dad, and I'm, it's not a phase. I'm proud of it. <laughs>